All right, these are seen on a TNF alpha inhibitors. Let's begin with an introduction on what TNF alpha is. So TNF alpha, tumor necrosis factor, is released by macrophages. It mediates the inflammatory immune response. So these drugs, TNF alpha inhibitors, are going to decrease the immune response. And therefore, they're very important for controlling out of whack autoimmune disorders, which we'll describe. So let's begin. Again, in our pharmacology videos, our first room is going to represent method of action, our second room is going to represent clinical applications, and our third room is going to represent toxicity or adverse effects. So let's begin. So here is our tuna fish elephant. This elephant likes to hang out in gigantic tuna fish cans. Tuna fish elephant for TNF-alpha. And this tuna fish elephant for TNF-alpha is being inhibited by several things. Let's take a look. Here we have this E over here. This E that's very tan. So you want tanning, you got a nice tan. E tan for E tanercept. E tanercept is a fusion protein which acts as a decoy receptor on TNF alpha. It binds to TNF alpha and acts as a decoy receptor. It's produced by recombinant DNA and is used in the treatment. Well, we'll see what it's used in the treatment for. So that's for E tanercept. Then we have these guys over here. These are the clones. I'm going to call them the monoclones. And they also bind to TNF alpha. Now, these monoclones are actually saying something quite interesting. Let's listen to what they're saying. Adolf certainly inflicts gobulins. Adolf certainly inflicts gobulins. What? What are they saying? Yeah, that's gonna help us remember the four TNF alpha inhibitors which act as monoclonal antibodies. Adel for adalimumab, certainly for sertalizumab, inflix for infliximab, and gobulins for galimumab. These are the four TNF alpha inhibitors which act as anti TNF alpha monoclonal antibodies, and they inhibit binding to the TNF alpha receptor. Okay, now that we've covered method of action, let's talk about clinical use. So here we have the E10 for E10 intercept and the four Iximabs. And they are wrapping. They're wrapping here. Why are they wrapping? This to help us remember RAP. RAP are the three autoimmune diseases which these drugs are often used for. R for rheumatoid arthritis, A for ankylosing spondylitis, which is a chronic inflammatory arthritis, and P for psoriasis. And just to mention, the monoclonal antibodies are also used to treat inflammatory bowel disease. And for that, we'll give these guys some inflammatory bowel disease. Okay, finally, for adverse effects. So, of course, since these drugs that we've mentioned so far are going to downregulate the immune response, toxicity is, is going to involve an increased risk to infection. These drugs can lead to drug-induced lupus, represented by this loop over here for drug-induced lupus, as well as reactivation to latent tuberculosis. And this is because TNF is important in, in granuloma formation and stabilization. And if you take a look at these guys' arms over here, they have a positive TB test to remind us of that TB infection. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video on TNF-alpha inhibitors. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.